Let's review the embedded ball rule. So I've hit my tee shot on the 16th hole and I found my ball in the fairway and it appears as if it's broken the ground. So the first thing I need to do is consult my playing competitors and notify them of what I've seen. I have the ability now to mark the location of my ball and check and see if it's broken the ground. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna mark the nearest point right next to it to mark the, the location of the ball. And I can pick it up and I've seen that my ball has now embedded in its pitch mark. It's broken the surface of the ground, which makes it embedded. I can now take relief if, I I'd, if I'd like to. So I'm gonna be able to clean the golf ball. And then I can choose the relief area in the direction no near the hole within one club length with the longest club in my bag. So I have the ability to go to the left or all the way around to the other side as long as I'm no near the hole. So I'm gonna choose to take relief. So I'm gonna go one club length, no near the hole to the left here. Use another tee to mark the end of that location. And then I can drop the ball at my knee height. And now my ball's in play. So if you're in the general area, and that's anywhere on the golf course with the exception of penalty areas, bunkers, the, the putting green, or the teeing area that you're teeing off from, you're entitled to take relief from an embedded ball. So don't hit that shot out of that pitch mark, take relief.